Hello Aiden, this is Coach Snow from Sharper Aquatic Image. I enjoyed working with you last week at the Etobicoke Swim Club Summer Camps. We've had a chance to look at your videos and I wanted to give you some suggestions on how to maybe improve your swimming and make you go faster. Each of the videos you're going to see are in slow motion. They give you a chance to look at your technique and listen to my comments and how you're swimming it. We know that your freestyle and your backstroke are your two best strokes, but that doesn't mean we can't be working on our butterfly and our breaststroke. The one thing I want you to think about here in your butterfly here is you are moving your arms well. They're staying together in terms of one arm is moving the same direction as the other arm. But what we need to do is we need to work on our kick. The kick is a dolphin kick and both feet have to stay together. Imagine having an elastic band around your ankles to keep your feet together. I know you're working really hard to try and make it go, but we really have to concentrate on two kicks for every stroke. There's one kick when the hands enter, and then there's another kick when the hands are finishing. So there's two kicks for every stroke. Every time you pull the water, you have to have your arms come out of the water and recover. If you recover under the water, the officials don't like that. So we have to work on having our recovery above the water every stroke. And I know it's a long 25 meters, but that's something that we need to work on. I actually like your backstroke. You've got a really good backstroke body position here. Your head is super steady and your hips are up nice and high. That's pretty good. It's a bent arm a little bit. We could bend our arm just a little bit more on the left hand side where your elbow is staying closer to your ribs, right? When we finish the stroke at the back, we want to try and get that hand out of the water as soon as we can. Now, the further we go into this length, you can see how your hips are dropping quite low in the water. You're on a bit of an angle. What we want to try and do is get our hips up a little bit, and that's a result of having a better kick. We need to work on our kick here <clears throat> in backstroke, just like we did in butterfly. It makes the stroke go flatter and you go faster in the water. When the hands finish, get those hands out of there. It's really important. I like the way you're keeping your head steady and your shoulders are rolling back and forth quite nicely. We're going to move now into the breaststroke leg. Now one of the things we need to work on, and this is equal for each of the strokes you're working on, that's your kick. We need to have what we call a whip kick. When you raise your heels up, you point your toes out and kick back with the inside of your foot. You can see how you're kicking up and down with the top of your foot. We have to have the hand, the feet kick out and push the water back, just like a frog, right? When you put the hands in front of your body, let's stretch, keep the arms together, and let's see if we can have a little bit of a glide at the end of our kick. Again, one kick for every pull when we swim breaststroke. A breaststroker has to have a good, long, lean kick. I would recommend watching some of the other swimmers breaststroke to get an idea. But we really need to work on that kick. Heels up, point your toes out, and then push the water back. Right? And here's your freestyle. Freestyle is pretty good. I like the freestyle. You're doing a lot of really good things here. Um, hands are going nice and clean in front. You're rotating your head. You're finishing your stroke pretty good on the back. There's a little smile out of you. It's pretty funny. Let's see if we can have those hands finish a little further back. Be longer, smoother, and cleaner when you swim. Let's try and stretch those hands out a little bit longer at the back of the stroke. The kick is up and down, which I really like, but when you go to take a breath, it really snaps over. Keep the kick up and down and kick with the whole leg, not just with the bottom part of your leg. Keep the kick up and down with your whole leg. And let's see if we can have what we call a better streamlined and skinny uh, body position when we swim freestyle. All right? Keep an eye on that breathing. You're breathing every side, which I really like, every third stroke. Um, and let's not turn our body so much when we go to take a breath, right? You're really rolling over when you take a breath. When you're not breathing, let's keep our head steady. Alrighty, you did great on this video. You did great at camp. Let's see if we can just watch these videos a couple more times to get an idea of what you should be doing. All the very best, Aiden. We will see you at a swim meet. This is Coach Snow. Bye-bye.